Chicago's Columbian Exposition World's Fair was staged over 125 years ago. It single-handedly focused many communities' efforts and attention on one goal, which was itself an opportunity to display how profoundly people can work together to translate a vision into reality. Like the space race of the 1960s, the Columbian Exposition was a catalyzing event that aided in guiding the American psyche regarding technological progress. Director of Works Daniel Burnham made every effort to ensure the World's Fair exhibited global class. Historically, it is a coda to the era of classical aesthetics that dominated architecture for centuries. Contemporary Chicago architects had begun to unleash skyscraping buildings onto the streets of U.S. cities, a style that would define the skylines of the 20th century. Chicago's Columbian Exposition was a one-of-a-kind event that drew on the imagination of the country's best structural artists. Just as this statue of Christopher Columbus stood in the portico of the administration building to greet people coming inside, the Columbian Exposition ushered those visitors and the society at large of the Gilded Age through the doorway of the 20th century by introducing them to innovations of all kinds. International travel was an expensive proposition in those days, so bringing people to Chicago created an opportunity to absorb worldly culture in ways that most could not afford. The Industrial Revolution may have started to influence industry and commerce in significant ways in the decades prior, but it was this event that introduced many of those advances to the domestic lives of attendees. Today we take electricity and light bulbs for granted. However, in the last decade of the 19th century, they were both still luxurious novelties that demonstrated state-of-the-art advances in science and technology. The World's Fair of 1893 was about featuring the fantastic, the lives we have beyond daily obligation. As poets and philosophers have expressed for centuries, the human spirit endures precisely because we find inspiration from the impressive achievements of creators. For example, the Transportation Building's portal was a beautiful entrance, elaborate and functionally a visual wonder created by Louis Sullivan. So much so that attendees could regularly be heard asking, have you seen that golden doorway? The Gilded Age was definable as an epoch of advancement, comparable with any the world had seen before. This caliber of project is an inspiration, not only for those involved with its creation, but also for those who gaze and wonder at the incredible feats of beauty, whether they are in design or philosophical. Fading Western wilderness and the completion of Manifest Destiny were replaced by a new vision of American exceptionalism that placed the nation's identity into the world's consciousness. It also left an impression on the imaginations of visitors, many of whom went home inspired by the cornucopia of industrial and commercial products gathered in Jackson Park. People crave progress, to peer around the corner of the future and see what is soon to greet them before others have the opportunity to become familiar. Early adopters advance our culture by encouraging creative minds to continue developing their novel offerings. Landing upon a successful idea often means failing through a great number of bad ones along the way, but we cannot be afraid of the difficulties on the path to discovery. We must encourage each other to try new things so that we continue to have an increase in diverse and new experiences in which creativity is not shunned, but instead able to flourish. <laughs>